Sorry for not doing the commentary to start real quick. I just need to do one thing in chat. Muffin versus... Current match on stream. Uh, I'm going to skip having this Gran Turismo song. I liked it a little bit, but it's not. It's... Uh, let's go with Let's get one. Right. Muffin versus. Lester off to lead here. Let's just run five matches. Robot Red with the follow. Thank you very much, bud. So the losers quarters after that. Grand finals. Sorry about that, folks. A relatively even game here on PS2. See into Zard versus Soar action. Nice move, my sloth. Oh! Eating the down air punish by. Crazy. Oh, wait, you know what? I actually think I have it backwards. I <laughs> just realized it. I'm sorry, guys. Sloth is the orange, yellow bub by Ivy. And currently on his last stock. That was a good play by Telestrial there. <laughs> Just whip it around. Razor Leaf's nice fair by Sloth there. Landing fair again. Looking for the upbeat kill. Nair doesn't get it. Telestrial survives and gets him with the vine whip through the stage. All these possible matchups, and you guys just want to do dual Ivy stories. Now, there, as soon as I said it, here comes the Zard from Sloth. He needs his kill quickly in order to really make the most of it. And he gets it. Nice bear there. And now both Telestrio and Sloth in the last stock. Sloth switches to Squirtle, which is an interesting move. He needs to eat a lot of damage there. Oh, and the up smash? That'll do it. Telestrio just muscles his way out to a game one win. Alright, looks like Ice on Deck has actually eliminated Explosive Oaks from Bracket. And Ice has moved on to uh, top 8, loser side, as soon as it actually works.
cool. San Ghost and Fruit Smash are actually going to a game three in their top 16 match. Uh, I need to switch the damn Chirons again. <laughs> go. Ran it all the way back to PS2 once again. Seeing some dual squirrel action there. Nice down tilt of throw. Oh, Sloth going for the uppy variant of that bread and butter. Paying for it. Celestro playing a little bit of defense. Now it's approaching. <laughs> they trade detail. It's really cute. Telestria is the first to switch out. Sloth returns in kind, giving him some Ivysaur action. Now it's some Ivysaur on Ivysaur crime. Oh, nice down smash there by Telestrio. Interrupting the recovery, does not get much more out of it. Sloth tries to go for the Gimp there. Oh, nice up tilt there by Telestrio. And Sloth goes to Zard. Looking for that up tilt and an up air there. Doesn't get much else out of it though. Oh! That was an interesting trade. Rare and Brawl, they received extra damage to their Pokemon weaknesses. That was uh, silly. Oh, nice use of the Race Leaf there. Telestro almost has the Tech Chase on the plat. Nice Nair. Telestro pushing Sloth further and further away. Nice patience from Sloth. Getting to backstage and avoiding the down air. Oh, wow! Circumnavigating that up air attempt and landing with a back air. Sloth takes the first stock here in game two. Let's see if he can extend his advantage. Nice uh, roll back on the stage. Telestro. Staying Zard. Almost tries to have the same back in the same spot, but doesn't quite get it. Ooh, Sloth. Sloth trying to go for the disrespectful down air. It doesn't get anything for it. Ugh, I might need to stretch for a second before we start top eight, to be honest with you. Oh, we have a stream or something. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh, nice. Telestro's brought it all the way back, percentage-wise. And then Sloth. Nice up air from Sloth. Ooh, tries to catch his landing. Does not, but does get that near eye shield. So we have a game of who can land. First, <laughs> pretty much. Nice from Sloth. Oh, manages to get the Telestro. Oh, looking for the up, the down air. <laughs> Almost model on model in shield. That was funny. <laughs> Just the razor leaves. They be blowing meaty. Looking for that back air. Sloth right now is really pushing Telestro in a way that I haven't seen so far. Not in game one. He must have started to figure something out. I don't mean PT, so I have no idea what he figured out. Nice Nair from Sloth to cover that whiff. Got him at ledge. Oh, but it eats the, the uppy from ledge. Telestra gets, gets everybody with that. Apparently. Oh, up air! Sloth! Putting Telestra on his last stock here in game two and looking for a game three. Not ready to go home quite yet. Hey, Weekly. I was hoping you'd enter this week. You're, um... Oh, thanks for the follow, Thorn. Um, I was excited to see your Corrin in action, but I guess you weren't able to make it this time. Oh, nice back here. Here comes Sloth on the go. Now they've both switched to Ivysaur, and Sloth is really just taking this lead and running with it. You'll have to see it. Oh, almost it's the back here follow-up. Oh, nice Ch change up to Charizard. Sloth protecting the rest of his second stock here by switching to the Meteor Charizard. And really just patiently just sitting on center stage and waiting for Telestro to approach him. You're harassing him on that platform. Looking for the kill. Oh, almost hits the back here. That might have done it. And 92. Oh, there we go! Wow. And Sloth just... You forgot. <laughs> Dude, I, I turn, turn your notifications in the Discord on. Because I ping everybody to let them know about signing up for the bracket. So... You're actually a PT main also? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is interesting, the, the, the ditto. And now you get one more game because Sloth brought it back. 
I wonder if we'll see a, a stage change for game three. I think they decided <laughs> it's just all Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh. Yeah, weekly came back to the server. It's good to see you, bud. Nice move with everybody, Sloth. Celestro doing the, or Sloth doing the, sorry, that was Celestro doing the movement. Just, my dumbass didn't switch the cards. There we go. Oh man, that's deeper. Wow. Wow, was an interesting turn of events. But Celestro now with a commanding lead over Sloth. Can Sloth bring it back? You didn't realize you left? You left us? That's all good. I know Discord can be a mess, so. Uh, yeah, Muffin, your match is next after this. Ooh, almost ate the grab there. Up tilt. I'm upset you don't have a blue Incineroar emote. Alright, the next slate of emotes I commission are going to be Incineroar based. Nice falling back here by Telestrio. Oh, dash attack from Sloth. Trying to bring this back. <laughs> I like to see Silver in chat complimenting Muffin on his Lucas that sent him the losers. <laughs> It's, it's hard to be congenial and congratulate somebody for playing a character really well after they beat you. So. Ooh. Right now, Celestro just piling it on here against Sloth and overwhelming him. Nice grabs to do it. I have to throw maybe too stale. I'll be looking for the. Oh, almost got the. the. Nice throw by Sloth. Is he going to be able to tie it up here briefly? Oh, he does! Telestra didn't time the, the, the ledge drop for Dare in time. And now, even stocks. I mean, as... Okay, well, that was all for two seconds. Here we go. This is Sloth's last stock in Losers. Oh, nice interruption there by Telestrio. The strain by Sloth. Here comes Telestrio just chasing this man down with Squirtle aerials. Oh, the Gimp! Almost got him. Man, Let's see how this goes. Crazy. Can Sloth bring this back? Eats the F smash. It's looking dire. Oh, gets the flare blitz to recover. Celestra with a landing up air as Sloth was trying to get out of dodge. Still not enough to put away Zard. Razor Leaf? Anything else? Nope. Both these players want it. They want to keep competing in Fro Fridays. Oh, oh! Almost needing the grab. Telestrio almost putting it away. Oh, and there's the up smash. And Telestrio. Ah, it's going to be the one to take it. Do the update. Stretch for a second. Oh, man. Oh, got to be careful. 